good morning good morning you will see in another video where i have on this same outfit because i am preparing to go for my retightening but as i was preparing for my retightening some things came to mind so i decided that i talk to you about it and you can tell me if you have experienced these things or if you have heard about these things before we start this conversation though let me thank you for tuning into my channel thank you to my subscribers thank you for watching my videos thank you for subscribing liking and commenting i really appreciate you and if you have not subscribed to this channel yet go ahead come on what are you waiting on click on the subscribe button on the notification bell as well so you will know whenever i upload a video now we're going to talk and it's going to be something uh I, I guess a little bit different from what i've discussed with you in the past I just want to know what's going on in these sister lock streets or not really want to know but you sometimes want to know why why certain things happen over the past couple of months I have had conversations with people who have told me that they have sister locks. Now I am not the sister lock police. So I am not the one that says you don't have sister locks. I do not take my hands and go in anybody's hair, looking for the grid, counting locks, trying to make that decision on whether it's sister locks or micro locks. I think both are equally beautiful. But there are certain things that we expect when the person says, I have sister locks. One of the things that you expect is that they had a consultation. We often tell people, do your research, do your research, do your research. And I think a lot of people think that we, we say, do your research. That we're talking about just going to the Sister Lock webpage on sisterlock.com to make sure that the person that you are choosing as a consultant is actually certified. But there's more on that Sister Lock page. There is information about the services that you should receive as a result of your establishment. Now, I have talked to at a few people who have said that, well, I, I never had a consultation. No, no, they didn't put in any test locks. I saw sister locks and I wanted them. I contacted a consultant who said that she could do my hair. And I went and they did my sister locks and I was pleased. I've talked to some people who said, no, I've never gotten a starter kit. I didn't know there was a starter kit. But if you do your research, you know that you should have gotten a starter kit. And when you didn't get one, you should have asked for one. Yes, if you got money in the bank, and you know you got your receipts from making your deposits because you did it yourself. You, you go to the bank and you want to withdraw a certain amount of money and they say you don't have it. That you want to know what happened to your money, why they don't have your money and why they can't give you your money. Same thing with Sister Locks. Do your research. With sister locks, you should get a consultation. 
you should get some test locks you should get your establishment done and your follow-up visit all for one fee your consultation fee is non-refundable because you just might not choose that consultant and she would have wasted her time with you but all that is a part of the package it starts with the consultation and so I would suggest to you that it should start with your research and knowing exactly what you should receive from paying all that money. I've had people to say that they had to pay for their follow-up. Now, if you heard what I said previously, that follow-up visit in the next four weeks is for you to get your hair retightened to determine how often you need to be retightened and also to discuss anything that's going on with your hair whether you have slippage and if you need to do something different have you been braiding and banding as you were told are you using the right shampoo which is the sister lock shampoo that's in your starter kit that you were supposed to get do your research. The process does not start after you get sister locks. The process starts before you get the sister locks established. We are told often, trust the process. In trusting the process, you should be able to trust your consultant. You should be able to trust your loctician you should also do your research so that you will have some idea about when something is going awry. These are the kinds of things that I've heard are going on in these sister lock streets. There's this saying, you know, that if you play with a snake and you get bitten, the first time, it's not your fault. But if you play with that snake again, and you get bitten, that's your fault. Now, some of the things that's going on in the sister lock streets are not your fault. Because you just, or maybe it is, because you should have known. Or you try to find out do your research some of the things it's just people with a lack of integrity they know but they act like they don't know don't let it go do your research ask your questions do more research ask more questions so that you can get what you're supposed to get as a result of the funds that you are investing in you. You're investing in you. Self-care, saving time, doing what you need to do to get the best service from your sister lock consultant and the most beautiful hair that you can get as a result of your sister locks and I'm sharing this with you because I'm a sister who love my locks I love my friends my family I love my followers and my subscribers but I especially love God because one of the things that he has blessed me with is a consultant or consultants that have always treated me with the utmost respect and support. And I believe them to have integrity. Have a great day.